I'd like to say good morning to everyone. Amen. Amen. It's always a blessing to see you and, and thank God for you. Thank you for those that are here and those that may be watching my Facebook. We thank God for each and every one of you. We want to thank God for all those that came out on yesterday to celebrate the life of Sister Jessica Hobbs. We thank you for your support and we thank you for your prayers. It was truly a, a sad occasion, but yet a joyous one because she knew the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for another beautiful day. Amen. Let's give him a hand clap of praise. Call to worship be, be coming from the 100 number of songs. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with sin. Know ye that the Lord, he is God, it is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his path. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and to his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Amen. We, we, we have a faithful God. We have a faithful God. We know that he is true and he is alive and well. We thank him this morning for every blessing that he has bestowed upon us. Amen. So just for just for who he is, we ought to just praise him this morning. Praise him like we never praised him before. We have been so good to each and every one of us. I don't care how bad things may be. Look, he's always our relationship. Amen. Let's praise the Lord this morning. Amen.
heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. For truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you that you that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading of his word for the good and edification of our sins. And also, I, I, I have a card here I want to read from Elder Moore. It says, Lord, for those who make a difference, who live out their faith with kindness and care, who share your love in so many ways, being big and small, we gratefully thank you. To Pastor Moore and the St. Andrew PB Church family, I thank God for all the love and kindness that you gave me during my illness. I rejoice in the great things that God has done and will do. In Jesus' name, Elder Calvin Moore. You are a blessing and your ministry helps make the world a brighter place every day. Amen. God bless you, Elder Moore. We thank God for you. We love you. Amen. We, I, I, I know you helped me along the way and I, I, I thank God so much for you. I, uh, you know, you seem like a father to me. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I love you, man. I love you too, Sister Moore.
talk to him any time of the day. He never gets tired. Uh, that's something to shout about that. I got somebody who can help me through this journey in life. Amen. Amen. Thank God again for each one of you. Thank you for those that may be viewing my Facebook. Thank you. God for those who are visiting this morning. We thank you. And I would like to invite your attention back to the book of First John first chapter first John the first chapter I want to read verses 8 through 10 verses 8 through 10 Verse 8 says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. 
Verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not seen, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Look, subject this morning, a phrase, uh, come clean, come clean, come clean. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you, Lord, for being God and God all by yourself. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, your love, your compassion. Father, come today to stand before your people. Lord, move self out the way. And asking that you would take full control right now. Speak to me, speak through me. Lord, I pray that your people may receive your word, that they may be edified. Lord, that you may be glorified. Lord, we just thank you for this, this day that you have granted us. It wasn't because we have done everything right, or thought everything right, or said it. It's your love, your grace, your mercy. And we do thank you, Father. We are grateful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Come clean. When a person has been exposed for something they have they have done, uh, they have no other choice but to come clean and admit that they were caught in a fault. Uh, you, you know when you've done something wrong and somebody come to you and expose you, uh, you, you, you that, 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 there's no secret anymore. You've been found out. So the best thing to do is just to come clean and admit that you were wrong. In this uh, chapter, John begins this chapter talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. He was talking about that, that this was this that, that, that his relationship with Jesus, that he knew Jesus firsthand, knew Jesus. This wasn't no myth. This wasn't no fairy tale. This was nothing made up. It was the truth. He was one of uh, the disciples that had been with Jesus for three and a half years. And, and he was letting the writer, the people know that before there was anything created, Jesus already existed. He said, that which was from the beginning, which, he, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked up on and our hands have handled of the word of life meaning that uh, 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 I not only seen Jesus but but I I, I, I touched Jesus uh, the king of glory the Lord of Lords I, I I had a relationship with him we were good friends and and and, and like I said before anything was made it, 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 you can go to Genesis one and one, he said, in the, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And we know that Jesus was present when all things were made. So therefore, before there was a world, he existed. And even in John chapter 1, verse 1, he said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And then the apostle Paul in Colossians chapter 1 verses 16 and 17 he says for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers 
all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And, 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 and John was uh, 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 writing, he was the writer of the gospel to, to uh, show sinners how to become saints. And he wrote 1 John to tell, uh, to tell saints how to enjoy sainthood. In, in other words, to, 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 to live the life of a saint. And he, he goes on to talk about Jesus. In verses 2, he said, for, for the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness. You, you, you can bear witness of something that you, you, you are part of. So he could bear witness that he seen Jesus, that he talked with Jesus, that he ate with Jesus, that he prayed with Jesus. Yeah, you, 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 can, you, can, you can attest to something if you are a part of it. He goes on to say, And to show unto you the eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. He was revealed unto us. He appeared unto us. We, we had fellowship. And verse 3 talks about fellowship. That's why I say you have to come clean. And, 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 and he, he says that if, if we... we as, as brothers and sisters in Christ we have to come clean if we want to fellowship with one another because see our fellowship is with one another and also with God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ if, 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 I'm, if I'm secretly hiding sin in my life how can I have true fellowship with my brothers and sisters we have to come clean we have to come from Fellowship is having companionship and, 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 and a community with the same interests. Meaning that Christ is our sole purpose, our, our, our interest, our sight ought to be on Christ and, and, and to live a righteous life, a holy life, just like he lived, a life of obedience. But if I'm hiding secret sin, in my life, I, 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 I only hurt myself. And we only hurt ourselves when we, we, we hide those secrets. And I'm not saying you got to go out and broadcast your life to anybody. But sometimes people see the sin in our lives. Sometimes people see the sin in our lives. But God sees the sin in our lives every single day. And all of us mess up every day but 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 all we have to do is go to him not let those secret sins uh, uh sever our fellowship with one another and with god and our lord and savior jesus christ he says there in verse four when when we confess our sins and and, and when we we go to him uh, uh, John says he the, it, uh, these things that he write unto us that our joy may be full. But see, you, you, you really can't have joy if you, you harboring sin on the inside. You, you know how some people uh, uh, when they're miserable, they want you to be miserable because they, 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 they don't have any joy. So they don't expect you to have any joy. They don't expect me to have any joy. But but if they would just look to the Lord. Look to the Lord and, 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 and call on him for help. He'll give them that 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 joy that John was writing about. John couldn't give the joy, but he knew the one that could give the joy, and that was the Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. And and, and the thing about it, Jesus had prayed. John 17, he prayed for all believers. Prayed that the Lord would give them joy. We ought to be praying that one another have joy. That John can write to us about these things that our joy might be full. We ought to pray that every saint would experience God's joy. 
uh, 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 I have to say God is a loving God to, to, to have chosen these men to, to leave on record his word by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, he, he desired for us to have joy. And, 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 and true joy transcends eternal cir external circumstances. It is stability on the inside despite what is occurring on the outside. Don't you know, no matter what's going on out here in this world, you can still have God's joy. I don't care how, how bad things have gotten in your life, you still can experience joy. Why can you experience joy? Well, if your, 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 your uh, attention, your focus is on Jesus, you can experience the joy of the Lord. Just like yesterday on the home going of Sister Jessica Hobbs. Oh, it, it was sad and it, 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 it hurts, but still, you can have joy because she had a relationship with the Lord. All of us that had love was the past on that knew the Lord, that had a relationship. That's why we can have that joy. That's why we can still live like we have hope. Because if we look at the things of this world, it'll rob us of our joy if we don't have the Lord. Yeah, we're going through some things right now. But, but I, I, I find that I still can experience joy. Yeah, yeah, because I know that one day all of this heartaches, and pains, sickness, and troubles will be over one day. Yeah, it'll be over one day. I won't have to worry about the pain in my body. I won't have to worry about this limp I got right now. Because he's going to make me whole. He's going to make you whole. I won't have to worry about, about financial problems. I won't have to worry about no more dog days. Because I know one day he's coming to take us away from all of this that we know. Because our mind is stayed on him. Yeah, we have to come clean. We have to come clean. And if you want to experience, if you want to experience the goodness of the Lord, if you want to experience His blessings, if you want to experience the joy of the Lord, you have to come clean. All I'm saying is confess. It says He tells us in this chapter to confess our fault. Yeah, that's all you have to do. But, but then in verse 5, John goes on to tell us, uh, then this is the message we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light. There's no darkness in God. There's no sin in God. God can't do anything wrong. God is a perfect God. And everything that he does is perfect. I, I seen him do a perfect work. I seen him do a perfect work, I said. Have you seen him do a perfect work? Well, all you have to do is look at yourself. Look where he brought you from. When you were in darkness, uh, he brought you out of darkness. And to his marvelous God. All those things that I used to do, he took them away. In other words, he cleaned me up. He set my feet on a solid rock. Yes, a rock that wouldn't give away, and that rock is Jesus. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no darkness at all in him. No sin at all. He's perfect in everything he does. When I look out and I see the clouds, I, I see the trees, I, I see my brothers and sisters. Look at the perfect work God has done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He allowed us another day. In other words, he allowed our golden moments to roll on just a little while longer. Oh, Lord, it wasn't nothing had to do with us because his goodness, his love, his grace, his favor, his mercy, his promise. 
Yeah. Verse 6 says that we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. We do not the truth. In other words, we say we have fellowship, but we walk in darkness, we're only hypocrites. We're hypocrites. Even when it comes to say we love one another and truly in our hearts we don't, we're hypocrites. We're hypocrites. We have fellowship, but walk in darkness. We lie, but do not the truth. John has to just described the truth, who the truth is. Did not Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the life? You know how you can be in truth? If you pattern your life after Jesus, you can be true. You can, you can walk in love. Even when people dislike you for no reason, you still ought to be able to love that person. Yes, right. Too many of us walk around here, oh, they ain't going to speak to me, I'm not speaking to them. Is that the godly way to be? No, ma'am, no, sir. Think about Jesus. Think about Jesus. A man who was perfect in all his ways. Came into this world. Love brought him in this world. Even though he knew how he was going to be true. And we said we can't love people. Well, if you can't love people, you're walking in darkness. If you can't forgive people, you're walking in darkness. Don't harbor that stuff in your heart. Come clean. Come clean this morning. If there's something in your heart, you need to come clean this morning. It's not going to benefit you holding on to it. But soon as you release it and give it to God, oh, I tell you, you'll feel a whole lot better. I tell you what, you'll walk around, you'll be able to love those that don't love you. Because as I said, it's easy to love people that love you. But what about those that don't love you? That, that, that's when, that's when the, the test comes. I, I don't want to walk in darkness no more. I, 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 I walked in darkness too long. 28 years was too long. And if the Lord would have called my name while I was in darkness, didn't have no relationship with him, I would spend eternity separated from the Lord. But I'm so glad that he touched this old uh, ignorant young man at 28 years old and saved my soul. Yeah. And it wasn't like I was looking for him. He came after me. He came after you. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I don't have to walk in darkness. And sometimes we find ourselves walking in darkness. Just be honest about it. When we have those bad thoughts. We say those bad words towards someone. We doing those things that are not of God. But you don't have to stay there. You don't have to stay there. He goes on to verse 7 and says, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. So, so, brothers and sisters, if we walk in in the light, we have fellowship with one another. We gather here this morning, fellowship, because we're walking in the light. And I'm not saying those that are not here are not walking in fellowship, because they're still in fellowship. Just because a person is not at church every Sunday don't mean that they're walking in darkness. Because there's some that can come to church every Sunday and be full of darkness. No sunshine in their life. But you can tell those who are walking in the light because they got something shining about them. Uh, you can tell by their works that, that, that they're shining, that, they, that they're walking in the light. In other words, they're living a holy and a righteous life. 
Yeah, we, we don't have time, y'all, to, 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 to walk around in darkness because none of us know the day nor the hour that the Son of Man shall return. Oh, if you're in darkness, you gotta hurry up and clam out. You gotta step into that marvelous life. All you have to do is call on him. Lord, help me. Bring me out of my darkness and into your marvelous life. I need you. I want you. I desire you. I need you right now, Lord. And I tell you, if you come, won't he do it? Won't he do it? says that Jesus cleansed us from all sin. That's all you have to do. Call on him. Call on him. You know when you're wrong. It's like said David, when he sinned, he was quick to repent. That's the way you and I gotta be. We gotta be quick to repent. Sometimes we get mad and we just hold it. But is it doing you any good? It's not helping you and it. it's not bringing edification to anybody else. If I'm walking in darkness, I can't edify no one else. But if I'm walking in light and they see me walking in a light, it, it makes them ask, why do you uh, uh, act the way you act? Well, I tell you, it's about man by the name of Jesus Christ. He came in my life. July the 27th, 1999, and he saved my soul, pulled me out of darkness, all that muck and mire that I was in, he, he established my feet on a solid rock to stay. Yeah, it wasn't me, it was him. Yeah, when you walk in the light, you can tell somebody, it wasn't me, it was the Lord. It was the Lord that made me this way. Because there wasn't nothing good in me. Nothing good at all was in me. But, but when he came and abode in me, I had the light on the inside. I got the light on the inside. And every Christian got the light on the inside. It said only if you yield to him can you walk in the light. Yeah, everybody that claiming that they walk in the light, that they got a relationship with the Lord, but if your actions don't show it, something might be wrong. But it ain't late. It ain't too late. You can get it right today. You can get it right today. He goes on. The verse 8 says, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in it. None of us could claim righteousness. None of us could claim holiness. None of us could claim that we were walking in life. Because we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. In Romans 3, it says there was none, none righteous. No, not one. Not one. We were all under the first Adam. Uh, uh, his, his doings. When he, when he disobeyed God and everybody that was born into this world, we came under that. But I'm so glad that the Lord Jesus Christ, they said the second Adam, he came to redeem us, uh, to regenerate our hearts, to start us off brand new, to clean us up. Yeah, to put us on a rock to stay. Oh, I'm glad of that solid foundation. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you say you have no sin, you are lying. Yeah? Because the only perfect person that is, is God himself. And we do understand Jesus is God. He came to, to, to show us who God was. God in the flesh. He did not sin. Even though they reviled him, they talked about him, they beat on him, spit on him, said all kind of matter of bad things about him, but he still let his light shine because he was perfect. You and I can't claim perfectness because he's still working on us. And I'm glad that he's still working on us. And that, that, that remedy when I say come clean, he said all you have to do is confess. That's all we have to do is confess our sin. It says that he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, all that filth that we were taking part of sometime uh, 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 we, we, what's the word I'm looking for sometime we, we, we were heading 
that, that mess with, that we were in. Not only ourselves, but leading other people into sin. But he said, if we confess, we come clean. He's faithful and just to forgive us. And cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. So today, you can come clean. It's God's desire that you come clean. Because he said he wished to see no man perish, no one perish. He, he desired all of us to have life. But you got to come clean. Uh, you, 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 you can't clean yourself up. But when you begin to confess your sins, he's the one that has to clean you up. You, 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 you can't buy your way in. You, you can't live good enough to come clean. Because see, if you could, you would have never had to come clean. You would have been clean already. We were all dirty. Messed up minds. Doing things that God was displeased, was contrary to his word. I know what I've done in my life. Things I wouldn't want to tell anybody. Things that I wouldn't tell anybody. You're the same way, some things you've done in your life that, that you're ashamed of. But glory be to God. Glory to the name of Jesus. I'm glad that 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 uh, he made a way that he made a way through his death, burial, and resurrection I can come clean you can come clean it was him and him alone it was him that hung out there on Calvary for you and for me for the whole world he died for you and he died for me. He died for everyone that's willing to believe. And, 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 and I'm glad that right early on that Sunday morning he rose with all power. Power to clean you up. Power to change your heart. Power to change your mind. Power to heal you up. Spiritually even physically. I'm glad we serve a God like that. Yeah, you can come clean. You can come clean right now. I don't care what you've done a few seconds ago. God is able. Ain't nothing too small. Ain't nothing too big for our Lord and our Savior. He's a good God. Is there anybody going to witness this morning that he can clean just talking about the unsaved. He's talking about the saved as well. 
Cause every now and then we, we fall short. But yet he, he still gonna clean us up. If we, if we call on him, we can come clean. Is there anybody here this morning that don't have a relationship with Jesus? I wouldn't wait. I, 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 I would run. Yeah. Don't know when he's coming back. But I do know that he is coming back. That's why it's good to be ready when it comes. Not getting ready, but to be ready. See, uh, 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 today can be your last day. You just don't know. Maybe somebody watching my Facebook don't have a relationship. He can clean you up right where you are. You put your trust in. Oh, I'm so glad that everybody out here come to me. May God bless you. May God Lord, we, we, we fall short, Father. 
And I'm glad you don't have to stay in that condition. I thank you for your son. I love you, son. And Father, bless this your people. Not only here, but everywhere. The people are called by you. Bless your people. Lord, we're going through some things. But Lord, we're going to keep our focus on Christ. Because we know that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Regardless of what may go on, we'll continue to trust you. We'll continue to lean in the pit of And Father, we ask you to bless those that are sick this morning. Bless those that are bereaved, Father. Lord, bless that sinner man, woman, boy, and girl that they come to the knowledge of the truth of who Jesus is. And come crying out, what must I do to be saved? Lord, there be someone there to impart your word to them. And they too may be with me. We And they may come to me. For all of us have family members, friends, that don't know. Now help us to be a light to them, Lord, that they may come to you. We thank you and we love you, Father. Now, Lord, put in our hearts, our spirit to love one another. Lord, we thank you. We ask you all in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And all the saints of God say, Amen.